How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today I thought I would bring you all another Jurassic Live content, and this time I'm going to be showcasing you all some of the new creatures that got released thanks to Update 2.20. The update should be out for both iOS and Android. I know most of you are really excited and want to know what these new creatures are capable of. Before I go any further, I do want to quickly mention that Ludia provided the beta test version to build a brain content to you all. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you take a look at the screen next to me, Garcelle's Pantheria, the fourth and final member of the Interstellar Raptors from Jurassic World Dominion. Apparently this is a creature, one of them to say, that was chasing Owen when he was running a moment from a motorcycle. It looks an alright design, I gotta say. Anyways, it has 39, 50 health, 15, 80 damage, 126 speed, 5% of the armor, 10% with a crit, abilities it knows, retreat, berserk, clawed, revenge, berserk, biting, revenge, and no escape. For the resistance 2, our 100% circumvention, 50% reduced damage, and 100% of the speed decrease. Not too bad, I gotta say. Next is Pantheria by Zanthi. No, not in, in the Raptor. This is something separate. This, design-wise, makes me think about that white tiger from that Las Vegas show. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you'll get it. Anyways, it has 4740 health, 1884 damage, 126 speed, no armor, 20% to build a crit, Abilities that knows, Delimiting Strike, Evasive Hunt, Cunning Rampage, Precise Double Strike, Swift Wounding, Swapping, and Media Nullifying Counter. Reasons 2 are 100% Stun, 100% Reduced Damage, 100% Speed Decrease, and 100% of the Crit Production. This one is not bad, but not as close as being good as the uh, Rexy, but we'll see how it does when it gets released. Last but not least, we got ourselves Etro Cold did this. It's an alright design, but it could have been worse. Anyways, it has 5105 health, 1580 damage, 125 speed, 20% of the, uh, the armor. 5% build to crit. For the abilities it knows, tough group cunning strike, accelerating shielded distraction, shuddering impact, berserk resilient rampage, and precise counter. For the resistance 2 are 100% stun, 100% suspension, 50% reduced damage, 100% vulnerability, and 100% of the speed decreased. Not too bad design-wise, I gotta say. But again, like I said, with, with the previous creatures, I'm looking forward to seeing how they would function in the meta and how players would try them out. Now, I know most of you are going to be asking as to, can we get a good look at the Azla event? Well, if we go over here and click this, as you can see, it won't let me. That's because to not give away any spoilers. Which I can tell you all that it's definitely worth the wait and it's going to be a lot of fun. And additionally, you're all going to really like it. So that's all of the cover for today's video. The purpose video is showcase you all the, some of the new creatures. Stay tuned for my next videos because I'm going to be covering not only the Apex Hybrid, but also the two other creatures that I asked you all to vote for. Now, let me know in the thoughts for the thoughts every good cover here. Do you like the, uh, the new creatures? I'm looking forward to the Ace Lab event. Also, what do you think about the update so far? Let me your thoughts. I'd like to hear it. Hopefully, you all did enjoy today's video. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Share my channel, subscribe bell for more content videos. And as usual, see you all in the next video. Until next time, hopefully, you all are staying safe, being healthy, and most important of all, keeping each other safe. <laughs>